Financial technology has been immensely valuable, especially in these extraordinary times of COVID-19. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is rolling out Dcash. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank has, for example, launched its Dcash, the digital version of the EC dollar. It's a move welcomed by the Financial Services Regulatory Commission. And so what you see now is that the, the, the term has broadened out to cover uh, financial innovation. And you, one of the most recent one you see is when the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank issued its formal launch of the digital version of the EC dollar. That's, that's massive. However, other forms of fintech such as cryptocurrencies that do not have the support of central banks could pose risk for consumers. They are a creation by virtue of a computer. Right? There's no support of a national central bank behind any of these. So they're not, they're not legal tender, but persons you know, use them as a medium of exchange. Dr. Ash says the plan is to protect the public engaged in fintech activities so that users don't suffer any financial harm. He urges the public to do their research before engaging in these activities. These technology, these um, cryptocurrencies, they come at risk. Right? They, as I said, they're not backed by a central bank. If you suffer any loss, there's no place to go and, and seek any redress. And so therefore, persons are always encouraged to do your research. Read. ABS will continue to provide crucial information on this issue in subsequent newscasts. Shanakisha Francis reporting for ABS News.